So, first things first, peeling the carrots. First things first, peeling carrots. You can hold it this way and just go one, one, one stroke down. Most efficient way is to just go one stroke at a time, rotate. So, onions. Uh, onions. Doing a large dice. It doesn't matter if you're cutting them slightly larger or smaller than the way I did. What's the most important is you're cutting them all the same size so that they cook and brown in the skillet back there all evenly. What is your choice of carbs with these uh, with this Japanese katsu curry? We're going with white rice because that's the best carb ever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing with this ginger. Uh, it should be uh, like matchsticks. Maybe like minced, kinda. Uh, I can cut those uh, like one inch by one inch, kinda like these potatoes. Okay, we'll see how I do. One inch by one inch. We're done with the cutting. Potatoes. Oh, carrots. So carrots, roll cut, pretty easy. Right, just diagonal, you go bam. Roll it this way, roll it that way. It doesn't really matter as long as it's all even. Just so here, it's really freestyle. You're just rolling different directions. Just try to really keep it even. And it should resemble kind of like the stew cut, hence the roll cut. We have a few options. We can butterfly this chicken breast right now. So let's go do that. So yeah, just that is good. Right there, like right here. Kind of like, you know, chicken tenders. So in this pot, over low heat, I'm gonna go melt the butter now and we're gonna make a roux. So here's the butter. All right, put some oil in there, chef. My butter is melted and so I'm now gonna be me... pouring some flour in here. I am on low, low medium heat. And if you notice, you know, all purpose flour with butter, it's kind of this yellow gold color at about three, four, or even five minutes, really depending on your heat. Little tip is that you tilt the oil all the way to the end here, so that when you put the onions, you're not splattering yourself. <laughs> you can already see it's starting to turn more golden brown compared to earlier where it was more yellow. So we're just whisking this, making sure nothing's burning. It's gonna be the curry that really cooks and simmers those vegetables. Right now, what we're doing is we are browning these vegetables. We are now ready for the spices. So let's go curry powder and cayenne pepper. And let's now whisk this away. And I'm still rocking at like a three out of four heat. That's now well incorporated. And really the purpose of the heat is to cook it a little, cook it a little, kind of cooking off the raw out of those spices. That's good, I feel good about that. Let's go chicken stock now. Well, let me pour a little bit first, just to make sure I dissolve everything. Mm. So you pour a little bit at a time to... Yeah, I just wanna make sure I get everything. Gotcha. You can pour it all at the same time. And there you go. Look at that paste. <laughs> so now, now I'm good. Now I can, I can go all, all the way in now. Look at that color. At this point, you can add your soy sauce. So this is just really about seasoning it properly. And our little curry sauce, we're now uh, simmering this in medium, medium high heat until it becomes a, uh, like a loose gravy. Mm. Not too thick, 
but definitely not watery like this. See that? That's that's still too watery. I'm gonna lower that heat. This is that's too vigorous. I'm just making sure that by me whisking, nothing's burning at the bottom of our pot. I'm also doing this, just lifting the pan, just to check nothing's burnt, nothing's scalded. The nice sheen of the sauce is coming from that butter or fine diced ginger. I'm just gonna check the consistency. So here, back of the spoon, if you do this. Mm, it's still running. I want to add more curry powder too, actually. Just a small pinch of salt. Not, not go too crazy because as we said earlier, right? You can always add, but you can't remove. And think too that we're continuing to reduce this curry. It's, it's a little runny right now. For those who don't know, what does reducing mean? Uh, reduce means as you're simmering a sauce or a liquid, we're kind of evaporating the water slowly to reduce the overall volume of the sauce and therefore it gets thicker. Mm. So here it is looking pretty good. Yep, there you go. And then you did go. And yeah, not running anymore. All right, curry's done. I'm gonna pour this in here. Brown white pepper, Chef Miguel approved. Secret ingredient, Chef Robbie's about to add a healthy dose, a healthy pinch of white pepper. More? Yeah, just, you know. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so at this point, we now have our curry with the vegetables. And if you wanted to make completely vegetarian dish out of this, you can now add tofu cut in cubes into this. Or if you're using ground pork, ground chicken, ground beef over a bowl of rice. Sprinkle some furikake on there, that's awesome. But now, Chef Robbie will take it all the way home with his chicken katsu. The star of the show! Oh, wait, I'm there. <laughs> she sees herself. herself. Now we are going to finish our chicken katsu. But before that, first we're going to prepare our rice as a side. We got one and a half cups of nishiki rice, and we're going to add two cups of water. Turn this up on high until it comes to a boil. And now we're going to prepare our chicken. Uh, cats are in the way. Now we're going to prepare our chicken using the chicken tenders that Chef Miggy sliced. And for dredging, I have two shallow plates here, one for flour and one for breadcrumbs, and one bowl for eggs. I'm going to keep one hand dry and one hand wet. Wait. One hand dry, no, one hand wet and one hand dry. Perfect breaded piece of chicken. Okay. The rice is done. Oh, hot. Now the oil. 360, ooh, oh, shot it. We're all set. Now that we have all of our ingredients here, we're gonna go see if Chef Miggy is done with his Zoom meeting so that he can teach us how to plate. And here he is. All right, what's He's good? Back in the building. Oh, you're done. You're done frying. Yeah, we got the furikake. We got the fried, not fried. We got the chicken, the rice as a side, and the curry that we made. But every good Asian meal starts with white rice. Let's go. All right, start with the white rice. Solid. Here we have our curry. And uh, I want a good healthy portion. Kind of want it over on the side here. And the final piece. Freshly deep fried 
chicken katsu curry. Maybe we make it fancy a little bit. <laughs> the furikake. And there you have it, folks. Chicken katsu curry. All right, Chef Robbie. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't want that rice now. <laughs> Have some rice. Cut. <laughs> that rice is good. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing space with us here at our virtual table. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below how you think he did or how you think I did. Or just what you thought of this video. Until the next one.